All right, guys. So welcome back. Now, in this step, we're gonna go through. I'm gonna walk you through trying to find um, ways to outsource a logo. So, like I said, when you're doing business development, you don't have to be the one to do everything. If you have an idea of what you want and you brainstorm it, certain things you can leverage out to other folks to help you. And one of the good tools that I like to use is called Fiverr and then also a freelancer and all of these outsourcing um, sites that you can hire someone else to do the work for you. So for example, um, we're on freelancer. Now, given the fact that you have already um, went through how we started before and find the names that you wanted, and then you, I'm, 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 I'm hoping that you already created all the social media accounts so like me, I have everything staged. All the social media accounts are ready to go. They're already staged. And I have the names that I wanted to work with. So some of the names that I was looking for, I couldn't find for demonstration purposes. I just went with something that I can show you. So this is like everything, anything 24. Because the name of the site that we're working on is called everything and anything. So we just talk about everything and anything, really. It's like a play on words. So anyways, we have all of the sites prepped and ready. And they're built out. You have ownership of them. And you're good to go. So I'll go back to Freelancer and create an account. Really easy to do. It's free. And one good thing is you can go ahead and fund it. Or you can pay at the end, depending on how you want. I like to put the funds in first and then just want to go ahead and um, work on projects. So once you're in Freelancer, um, we're going to leverage out trying to get logos for um, this business that we're working on. So this is how you'll do it. Go to My Projects, and you're going to post a project. So the project we're looking for is uh, we're going to create a new project and we're looking for logo um, logo designer, right? So we could say, let's go. And basically, it will give you some steps here. So, okay, what kind of logo are you looking for? Text-based, icon-based, whatever. So you can say a combination of text, um, minimalist, vintage, or whatever. So you can say other, because if you don't know what you want, click next. Um, please specify, um, let's go with vintage or something. I don't know, maybe minimalist. And the colors, so if you're willing to go with other colors, you can just do, um, I would just say open. So um, you can go in and they're going to work on a description before you can post it, right? And this is where it reaches out based on what you've told it. And it will do like a mock write-up for you. So if you're looking at this right here, it's basically, basically saying this is what you need done. Um, working on a logo design, seeking a creative designer, yada, yada, yada. Um, this is probably like AI writing it for you. And these are the key requirements. So now here you can basically um, change all of this to whatever you want. If you have color codes that you need to add in, um, whatever it is, you can add it here. And then if this is okay for you, right, um, you can go ahead and add images. I like to add images, even if you have a sketch, it's good because it helps the artist or the designer know, um, kind of give them like an idea of where to start. You know what I mean? So um, if you can sketch up something, which I did, um, it's kind of funny. Let me show you. This is what I came up with. It's kind of weird, but basically, it's a combination of the um, what's the symbol again? The infinity. It's a combination of the infinity symbol, and then the way the infinity symbol turns on one end is going to go into an E, and then on the other end is going to make an A, and that's where we're going to get our logo built out. So it's going to be like everything, anything in an infinity loop means all because infinity means everything. Infinity to me means everything um, and all space, time, and matter, which is part of what I want my channel to reflect. 
this business idea, what I'm venturing in, this is what I'm looking forward to, to do. So that's my concept. That's how I want it. So I draw something up and I'm just going to go to my email because I sent it over to my email. So let's go ahead and check email inbox. Um, let's see if I got anything. Um, there it goes. I sent some things over from my other. So I'm going to go ahead and download these right there. And then we're going to go over here and download this one again and go back. So now that I have that, I have my downloads I can go into and I'm going to include these two plus the infinity sign for my concept. All right, so they can see what I'm working with. So basically, I'm seeking a creative and experienced designer who can create the minimalist logos for my brand that combines text and uh, iconograph. Um, basically, what I'm want, wanting to say is, okay, so up here, I'm going to say um, the logo. So I can say the logo is a part, or the logo is a combination of the infinity symbol where one end one end is going to curve into an E okay. and the uh, other is the I would like the design to reflect the attach as close as possible. Don't please forgive me, I'm not a fast typer. All right, so right there. Um, so this is basically telling the artist, okay, this is what I'm looking for. Um, and give them a starting point. So I'm going to click next, um, logo designs. These are the skills required. Click next. Okay. So here you are, it's going to ask you, what do you want to do and how do you want it done? You can post a project, which is most popular. You're going to get basically uh, free quotes. The good thing about this is that the idea is hidden. So not everyone gets to see it. So every artist has to kind of generate this on their own. This one is great if you um looking for like patent and you want specific creativity. It's very good. For me, I like to do like a contest. So I just say, hey, here's 50 bucks. That's all I have. Um, draft me up something that you guys think. The problem with this one is though, everyone gets to see the the creation of everyone, all the artists, when they submit to the pool, everyone gets to see what's in the pool. So as soon as you start rating this, if you give it a one star, then what I've noticed that everyone curvates to that one that you start rating and they all start flooding because they start copying each other design. So the good thing about this is that once you see something comes in, don't rate it immediately. Right, one, and I'll show you that later on. Once, it, once you have something that comes in onto this platform, look at it, and if that's what you want. Maybe write down the number, and keep going so you can have different ideas coming in. And then, as closer it gets to time, and you have something similar to exactly what you want, then you can start giving it the ratings. So then, those other artists that are coming in are working with with the project. They can see, okay, this is what you exactly looking for, and it will help you out. Okay, so enough of the blah, blah, blah. I'm going to set this to 50 bucks um, for outsourcing. It says that I get about 80 in inquiries, but to be honest, with 50 bucks, sometimes you get over a thousand entries. Folks are just, you know, because they outsource to like 
um, folks in different countries so they can see it. So the dollar value compared to a lot of countries out there, it, sometimes it goes high. And you never know. You could be buying someone's dinner. So they will work really hard just to get that project or to win it. So $50 sometimes is, is fairly um, a good, you know, a good payday for someone. You know what I mean? All right. So next, um, how do you want this one day? Three three days. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this to three days because I don't want it to be too long. So you can do we're gonna run it for run this for three days. And I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Now this is a guarantee that the winners will be chosen. You can select additional features. So if you want this to be sealed where only the individuals can see it, um, if you want them to sign an NDA, and this is an important piece, like if you don't care about what you're about to design, you can leave it open. But if you are working on a brand and you don't want, um, you want to protect your rights, then this is where you want to, um, uh, it's recommended to add an NDA onto your, so this right here, you can also make it private. You can highlight it so that you get more reviews. It's so much that you can do. You could even put this to the top of the contest where the top designers will actually see this first. For me, I don't really need all this because I'm just trying to show you guys how to walk through it. So don't need an NDA, don't need any of these information. But when I was doing mine, best believe, seal it, add an NDA, um, because then you get unique ideas and the documentation is signed. So that means whoever is designing your logo, know that they can't disclose this information later with anyone. And that's an agreement that you have with your designer. Hopefully you got you guys got it. Then once this is good to go, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click next. It's gonna tell you, show you basically like a preview of everything before you start. And once you are ready and everything looks good to go, we are going to go ahead and click get entries now. And then what this is going to do is going to ask you for your payment, whatever, um, confirm, right? Like I said, I already have this in my account, so it's easy for me not have to enter any additional information because I fund this. Now, as you can see, everything is in here. It is um, set. And then now all you got to do is just go on about your business. The contest ends in two days. Periodically come back and check. And you will see that there are many new, um, I guess, results will come in and you can see the entries. And then from there, you can go through and cipher which ones you want to use, which one you don't want to use. And I'm going to show you that in a section coming here shortly. All right, so we're going to pause the video, and once the entries come in, about a day or so, um, normally in a couple of hours I'll get something, and then I'll just walk you through and show you what it actually looks like. All right. All right, guys, so we are back, and um, we have a few entries in our pool from where we left off the last time. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. So we're back on Freelancer. And like I said, once you go ahead and um, submit your your request, right? It took uh, maybe a f two hours or so, um, and I have about a hundred entries. So this is the part where I'm saying you can go in and start cleaning up by providing some feedback of um of the logo. So if it's close to what you're looking for, you can give it a few stars until you get what you're looking for. So like, for example, this is not what I want, not even close. So I'm going to go ahead and reject that. Um, I don't like that either. Um, none of these are even close to what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to go down the list and reject because the more you provide feedback, it helps new designers to see, okay, I don't want to submit that type of work because that's definitely not what I'm looking for. So this is like 
the start of you working um, to get your business online, right? It's like project management. You're, you have a lot on your plate, so you want to send out or issue or delegate certain parts of the business to be done by certain entities or a person or a group. You want to do that. And then they will send back the feed, they will send the feedback to you. And all you have to do is now just look at it, approve, disapprove, deny, or accept whatever. But it will help you go forward that you don't have to work too hard or you don't have to think that you have to do everything yourself. But the important thing though is like to start most of this process, you need to have some type of funding available. So like for example, doing this, this alone is a fifty dollar project that um I just requested to see if I could get someone to just, you know, design a mock up logo for this business that I'm I'm working on. And there's other places, there's other sites, there's other companies out there that you could use. You can pay a professional to draw the mock up for you and go ahead and create a whole new design. So it just basically depends on you. So this is not bad. Um, this is close to what I submitted. Uh, I'm going to reject this one and also this one. So I kind of like the details of this, right? Like what I was going for, I was looking for more like an E that represent everything. And then also the A would have come around right here. I didn't want nothing looking too much like this because it almost looked like EA Sports. Well, actually like here. And when I thought about it, I'm like, man, EA is also EA Sports. And if you play video games or you're in that, you know, um, you, you know, EA Sports, the logo looks something similar to this. And I don't want to get copyright infringements or whatever. So I'm making sure that it looks nothing like that company. All right, so I'm going ahead and reject that as well. Um, so this right here, um, it looks close to what I was I'm looking for. It's cl it's not bad, but it's close to it. So in this case, I will go ahead and rate that as a one star because it's not where I want it to be, but I want to keep it here for you know for later. I can go back and look at it later. And say, okay, maybe this is close to what I'm looking for. All right. So if you want to filter through most of these, the, pro the ones that you haven't provided feedback, you can go filter by no feedback. And you can see everything that you have not looked at. So all of these, um, I just want to go through and filter them out. Like Some of these are very, very, like, busy. Okay. So... I'm going to go like, this is not bad, but also it looks too much like EA Sports, right? Um, so don't want nothing that looks like that company. Nothing is wrong with EA Sports. I play their video games. It's just that I don't want it to be confused with what I'm trying to do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and filter these out. And like I said, this is basically a a way to start working on getting your logo out there because I have all my channels up here already created. They just don't have a full identity yet because I'm working on the logo. So this is one way, like I said, if you want to do it yourself, don't want to pay too much money, you can go ahead and um, just put a put a, a project out there and have people, people bid on it. Low cost, doesn't cost much. And um, by the end of the day, you might see something you like. And all you have to do is just award it to the person. And they'll send you all the file types you need. And you'll be good to go. So...